I vote yes to same sex marriage. I vote yes to same sex marriage. I vote yes to same sex a marriage. Woof. Woof. I vote yes to same sex marriage. A yoinky doodly kids. I vote yes to same sex marriage. <laughs> a yes, I vote yes to a same sex marriage. Oink, oink. I vote yes to same sex marriage. Hi everyone. Obviously from my darky hair and my pasty face, I like vagina. Well, I vote yes to same sex marriage. Ra. Well, yeah. Um. Yeah, I like doggy treats and uh woof and um fuck Christians. Woof <laughs> I dream a oh dream that one day I can be black. What up, my homeboys? So, today our point of discussion is same-sex marriage and Christians' ignorant, bigoted opinions on it. I'm not even going to bother bringing a Bible in because there's no point whatsoever. What I am going to bring in is an argument I had with a person who was a little retarded. And her little posse over same-sex marriage so even relationships in general anyway so she started her status with a simple god made adam and eve not adam and evan first of all bitch get with it the saying is adam and steve not adam and evan you dumb Ugh. we are created man and woman to be united wedlock a partnership in which we are to be fruitful and to serve him so i just want to know like can someone please answer this for me this going into this, and this going like that, or this going into that, or this going into this, or this going into this. How is that meant to affect our loving Christ, the Lord himself? Anyway, I wrote on it. A couple of other people would like, you're disgusting, all this shit. And I wrote on it, love has no boundaries. And then I asked for a reason um, reasonable explanation as to why two guys and girls cannot have a relationship and everyone was like, no one, everyone beat it around the bush, no one answered my question they were all talking about how um, they were all talking about how um, who says that it's not righteous, I mean who says that it is righteous and who says that it is godly the bible clearly says that God made Adam and Eve um, to get married and have children um and like being homosexual is an abomination because one man must not lie next to another um but like the key thing is these people are trying to say that same-sex marriage is against my religion but i would just like to say something can we please get our pens out write down that sentence underline the word my and write underneath it key word motherfucker because all you Christian hoes, the key word in that is my, and you have a no right to judge anyone else's lifestyles except yourself. And you're trying to say that God is all holy and he is the only one who has a right to judge. Well, why don't you bitches step the fuck back and let your invisible yet almighty God judge and bring wrath upon these people and not yourselves trying to be some hardcore idol of what God should be like. Anyway, um... The whole thing ended up with her being like to someone else. Because her someone's like, Tate, this is disgusting, this is not helping Christians at all. And she pretty much wrote, um, she pretty much wrote, hang on, I'll, I'll find it for you. She pretty much wrote, um, oh, here we go. Um, 
Like, if I'd written my pers personal beliefs on your wall, then you would have a say in direction to what I post and what I write. But considering it is my status on my wall, I 100% disagree with you telling me off. I wrote pretty much, you're saying you have a right to say, like, if I was writing on your wall, you have a right to what to say, um, but because I'm writing on my own wall, you have no right to tell me what to do. And it's like, these, like, people who um, are same-sex, like, attracted, they are doing it in their, with their own lives, and, like, how is it affecting any other bitch? So, all these motherfucking Christians, like, this one who said, might not call a bitch in case she finds this one day, this one person who was talking about, um, how, like, if it was my, if it was on your wall, you'd have a say. Um, bitch, please, it's their lives. You have no say. It's exactly the same. It's, like, fucking... They're, like, the same situation in different fucking contexts. Okay? So... Person. Stop being so contradictive like your Bible. And fucking... Set your fucking rules straight because you are a lunatic. Most. All Christians are lunatics. Anyway, this is... She pretty much wrote, congratulations on taking my words out of context, Sarah. Well done. Well done. As for condemning them, I've made it quite clear that I love them. Anyway, I wrote, um, can I have that certificate of using words out of context printed on silver paper? It looks much better than plain white. Thanks. And she wrote, um, she texted me, okay? And she wrote, um, that's totally, like, I don't appreciate your attitude. If you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. And I wrote, listen, if you're going to congratulate someone for doing the wrong thing, that is just as bad attitude as me, think, like, asking for a certificate for taking your words out of context. So don't, once again, be a contradictive bitch and tell me what to do. Anyway, intent intention of this fucking video is to tell every single person that you have no right to judge anyone else's life and anyone else's decision, okay? If you love somebody, go ahead and love them. Don't let anyone else interfere in a relationship. No one should be thinking that other people's love is not okay because they're the same sex. They have the same thing. They both have pussies and they both have cocks, okay? ridiculous excuse to go put your business in someone else's life you all need to work it out and as for christians who are just always going to be ignorant and bigoted i suggest everyone to never oh, never start a fight with them and never have an opinion around them because you're not going to win it's taken me three to four years to work out that you're not going to win christians and outsiders there's no, you can't even end on a mutual ground, on a neutral base. There's nothing you can agree on. So, my, like, just don't even bother. Like, if you don't agree with what they're saying, just be like, okay, and leave them alone because you're not going to get anywhere and it's just going to make your life harder. It's taken me a long time to work this out, but I've come to the conclusion that every single bitch is just psychopathic and retarded. So in conclusion, I want to tell you, if you love someone, go and love them, okay? Because it's your life and no one else has, like, no one else has say over what you do with your life. If you don't love someone, stay away from them. You don't have to be involved. If you don't agree with someone's sexuality or decisions in life, then don't be a part of their life. Maybe if you want to be a part of their life, you're going to have to come to terms with it because you can't change someone. It's not fair on them. You just... Oh, respect. It's my whole message, okay? Just fuck Christians. Don't even get involved with them. It's the end of my story, okay? I just want everyone to know that, like, love does have no boundaries and, like, live every day like it's your last and love everyone like it's the last time you're going to see them because life is more important than getting in arguments and trying to work out what you're going to be doing, like, with the rest of your life and who you're going to be fighting with and how you can own this bitch in an argument because... You have more important things to worry about, and that's keeping the people you love close and not getting involved with anyone else's stories or lives or decisions because ultimately it's up to you and up to them. Anyway, that's my story. Fuck Christians, and I'm out. Thank you for watching. Sarah appreciates it. Woof. Nah. XO, XO, Gossip God.